Welcome back to the Chessability Corporation, also known as the YouTube.com channel under the title of Chessability. In this video, it will be the first of our videos to feature a new video type differing from the usual opening videos. So this like basically means that instead of our past like seven videos, except for one of them being an apology video and the other six being an opening video, we're finally going to be testing out one of my uh, original ideas for a game and it doesn't it's it may not sound as original in words but I like the concept of it and it seems as if we're the first uh, ones to specifically do this type of one so basically it's called guess the engine move evaluation or maybe it's just simply like guess the engine move or something because well the point of it is that I go back over uh, my games like uh, preferably new games which I have not seen like any of the analysis from like it's fine if I know what happened in the game but the point is that we go over those games and then I look at like key moments it, like to be honest it could be any moments and I just try to um, guess what the engine would rate the move as like in terms of a blunder to a brilliancy like for example like great moves best moves inaccuracies mistakes and then like a few more and that's i mean I, that's basically the point i think so i have a game right here that i just finished on the chestability underscore real uh, chess.com account and I'm going to be, I'll do a quick recap of the game, and then I'll probably go back to two or three of the uh, moves. Maybe, maybe two or three of, like, one of my moves, and then one of my opponent's moves, and try to guess what the engine evaluated it as. So, uh, in the game, I was playing as black, and my opponent played e4. I responded with a6, one of our classic opening ideas, the St. George defense. He responded with pushing the e-pawn forward, which I really haven't seen a lot when playing this opening. But, I mean, the engine says it's favoring for black, but then I promptly go mess it up, apparently mess it up, by playing b5. And uh, my opponent... Targets the rook and does the usual, as it seems to be like scholars made, but I'm guessing it has more influence on the rook and trying not for me to see the rook. So I develop my knight out, blocking it. He develops his knight. I play h6 because in mentioned in the St. George defense, the St. George's defense video, playing h6 is vital as to avoid the fried fox defense. If you were not paying attention or if you're not seen that video. But, um, I play h6 as a precautionary thing. As you can see, it immediately comes to fruition as the knight cannot jump here. So I developed the bishop. Even though this was a free pawn, the reason I didn't take the pawn here is because if I took the pawn, then I would lose the rook, right? So I developed the bishop here, and then he, um, moves the pawn up, blocking in his bishop, bringing this bishop out. Maybe having something to do with the dark squared bishop, like I just said. So I don't really know why I'm repeating that, but... So I take this pawn now, and I'll promptly lose my bishop. But it's nothing to worry about, because I can lock the queen in. Uh, and this, like, this seems like it could be bad for his queen. But then again, I have no way of actually trapping it at this point in time. So it's just more of a gamble. But uh, he attacks my knight, I defend it with the pawn, he takes it, so I take back. Then he long castles, putting his rook on the d-file. I just decide to develop my knight, because my kind of goal was here was to bring my knight somewhere, as maybe somewhere where it could guard this pawn. So if I try to attack my the queen with my rook, it, it'd have a hard time escaping. But then again, looking back at it now, it doesn't really make sense. So he attacks uh, the center of the pawn, so I take it, because I know it gets the rook active. Like, I, I know that, but 
I didn't want him attacking my knight, and then still getting the rook active either way. So I took the pawn. Then uh, he took back. He attacked it. He moved back. I then once again I attacked it, which is a mistake because we can either go here or just take the d7 pawn, which neither of us saw that. <laughs> so then I decided to go here, which is a fatal mistake because of this move, which attacked it. And he takes with the knight, so I just take with that, and, like, my king moving around, like, it's, to be honest, it's not even that big of a deal. Uh, because there's no checks. The queen is basically locked in a box. Like, this is a kind of interesting game. And, like, so, I just moved my bishop here. Now I'm trying to actually trap the queen, because I thought all of the other queen moves wouldn't work. But I'll just go back and explain. So, all of these queen moves didn't really work. Wait, give me a second. I just need to let my dog out of my room. Okay, so basically this would not work any of these moves because of course I'd lose my queen and I need my queen to guard the d7 pawn so his queen doesn't escape and check me. So I can't really go anywhere that would defend it and not lose my queen and then so I, I could like trap his queen like this but with going with the bishop here this traps the queen. So after going like here and defending the rook then I get checked and I can't block like this and you may be thinking can't I just take it and obviously I could but that let his queen escape and bishops are like basically worth one point so it would not even be worth it so I just moved up and really losing all of my advantage uh he checks with the knight I move into the crevice I was thinking about going here in the first place and also I forgot to mention this but this is a three minute game so, we both are pretty low on the clock. Like, a few m moves ago, he was up a long time. He was like a minute, I had like 30 seconds, but he started using a lot of time here, even though most of his moves didn't do anything. Then he spent a lot of time here capturing the rook, and after I captured back, I did this bishop check because it was actually a beautiful sacrifice as to waste exactly two seconds on him recapturing. And then I trade the rooks, which took him another two seconds, because Blitz is all about time. And then he moves his bishop back, because, I mean, it's been hanging for, like, in the ninth move, which is reasonable. Uh, so I take the pawn of check, winning the knight. And then I wanted to end this game flashily, like, maybe I take the rook, but he still had two seconds left. So if he started blitzing on moves, it would have been a little scary. Thinking back to it, I, I probably could have still taken it, but it's not too bad. And, uh... Uh, I just ended up flying him after taking a few spawns and him making this turn bishop move. So now I guess I'll move on to the actual guessing of the moves point in the game. Okay, so now I have opened up the game review because I had to open another tab. One was analysis, one was game review. And this is the first time looking at it. And of course I can see almost immediately we both played at around 50% accuracy. So, I mean, that's something. But then again, we also both got three great moves, which, like, great moves aren't really that rare, but three, like, six in a game, was it, like, we're 900th now? Like, that's not too bad. That's not too shabby. So, I'll start off, okay, it's probably not, oh, yeah, well, it's right that stuff. So, let me, let me go back to this part. So, let me think. What would be, like, a move I should guess? This is hard. Okay. Ooh, ooh. I want to first guess taking the pawn. I can already guess all the eval. It's, like, a negative move. But what should it be? Like, because I lose a whole piece. It goes from 1.8, negative 1.8, to, like, 0.8 or 0.9. Because it is, like, around, like, 2.7 like decrease of points let's turn this off so like i was thinking like because the queen gets trapped and it's always sort of being queen get trapped maybe and because the eval doesn't even uh, but that's hard again because it's like it's a mistake it's a mistake or an accident there's no way to blunder and there's no way i mean i i did lose a full piece okay, i'm gonna go ahead and say it's a mistake 
So what is it? Move number six. Okay. Yeah, it is. It is a mistake. I actually got it right. So let me just hide those. Oh, I see. Okay, so it's a mistake. You're gonna lose a material. What's the best move? Okay. Oh, well, yeah, that, that does make sense. Okay. That's one of them. Okay, let's see. Anything else? So he takes a bishop, of course. That's a good move. Attacks that, then he takes anything big happens. So I know attacking that. Oh, yeah. And going there was a big mistake. I need to guess what the gray moves are though as well. So I, all, I know all of those are bad, but him going there, taking, going here. Okay, I think this, basing off the evaluation, I think that was, I don't think that was a great move though. Nah, it had to be. Going here must have been, going here, going there wasn't even that bad though. Okay, I'll skip that move for now. Okay, so I'm gonna evaluate this move. Let's get rid of it. Well, I mean, I guess it's fine to me. So going over here, me moving there, I think would be a great move. Cause there's, I don't have any checks to worry about. No, but the evaluation is so high. Okay, this had to be a great move. I'm just gonna get that out of the way. This probably had to be a great move. So what move is this? Number 18. Okay, it was, it was. So, let me just not look at those. So, it was a great move because, I mean, obviously, it's one that traps a queen. So, we're here. Okay, now that move. I'm, I'm going to do a double guess. So, going here, of course, was... How big of a mistake was it? It was, it was pretty bad. So, I'm going to guess that was a blunder. Also, if... Tell me in the comment section, I guess, if I should exclude the evaluation bar. Because that might make it too easy to guess based off the evaluation. I, Because, I mean, this is the first time doing it, but it seems like I'm already doing pretty well just based off the evaluation bar. So maybe that might make it too easy. So I guess leave feedback. I'm not sure. But I'm going there. It's pretty... I, I, I've got to say that's probably a blunder. Because miss wins, oh, yeah, that's that's the thing. Miss wings only happen when you miss a win, not when you miss a draw. So that has to be a blunder. And then me going up here has to be, that's to be a missed win, I think. So blunder, missed win on move 19. Blunder, and then, uh, okay, so it's blunder, blunder. So, it's not like, not that bad. Also, it's just heading over here. I, also, should I not be able to see these? Because I could like narrow it down somewhere because like four blunders, six blunders, the three gray moves, like, I don't know. So it was blunder, but then this was just a blunder as well. I guess it wasn't a miss, missed win, even though there's like a plus four advantage. So, and then I'll go back and check. Okay, so there. Check there. The hero bar isn't really moving. I'm taking that. Okay. I'm going to do another double guess. Okay, that was, of course, like a blunder. Ooh, and then I want to guess this. Okay, I'll guess three more. I'll guess, um... This knight move, and then this king, this king move, or that, or the first knight move, then taking the rook, and then bishop checking, because in the rest of the game, the end thing really happens. So I'll go back. Um... I mean, the eval bar barely changes, so it's probably got to be, like, I don't want to say great move, because there's probably other stuff that holds, but probably, like, best move. But then again, there's, like, four great moves I'm missing. Okay, I'll, I'll say that's a great move. Um, 
And then taking this thing right there, I think that's just, that's probably like, uh, that's probably like, what is the one, it's an excellent, excellent move. Not, not best, it's between good and best, the excellent one. And then going over there, I think, is an inaccuracy. Because, but I lose a full piece, but when the engine, like, knows you got a, a winning advantage, it really doesn't care. So I'm going to say... Uh, great move for that, which is number 20. No, okay, it was just the best move. That was a great move, actually. So, I didn't really... I think I got one right, I was stuck with my good, but... And then, was it the one with the... Okay. That was... I guess... I thought it was an excellent... I guess that was a great move. And then I got also that one. And okay, that was a mistake. So it was slightly um, higher than inaccuracy, which makes sense. Of course, it's not a blunder because I had a humongous advantage. But yeah. Okay, now I guess I'll just go through the game with the game review. Yeah, of course, boss move right there. Doesn't really prove that. And then, okay, that's a mistake. Okay, oh, th that was one of the great moves, just taking the free bishop. <laughs> So I locked it in. What did, what do you think was the best move? Okay, just going backwards, I guess. Oh, because that that traps it. I didn't even realize. Okay, what's the best move after here? And then oh, actually, I don't know. there was like fine. Oh, I I could have moved some more probably. And the castling was pretty bad. And then yeah, opening up the middle, taking was fine. Going over there is fine, but then that was just yeah and i yeah i could have just gone there okay that was another great move i see just okay yeah so getting the queen he blundered that because after here then what i didn't even see that he can't even escape anyways ah okay it does make sense i go up then i go over here like a draw but then i go in there he takes that but then plunders it what's the best move yeah okay okay that makes sense it makes sense here and then it's just the queen and then like versus the two piece in the rook which usually be using losing but he blunders one of them and yeah the, the rest was uh pretty standard Okay, well, that was basically the first video of... I don't even know what to call it. I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to make up an official name when, like, making the thumbnail of this video. But whatever you want to call it, guess the move evaluation. Guess the engine. Engine guessing, moving. I don't know. That was basically the first episode of trying something else new other than one apology video and the rest of the opening videos. So, give us feedback on the video, and I guess thanks for watching.